In the last video, we talked about multivariable functions and their partial derivatives. Now we'll talk about the next topic, gradients. A gradient is just a vector valued function that captures all of the partial derivative information of a function and points it in the direction of steepest ascent. Now let's take this multivariable function for an example. Our multivariable function is scalar while our gradient is vector. The symbol in front of the f is regularly called a nabla or a del to denote that it's a gradient. And inside this gradient vector, we have the partial derivative of x, y, and z. The best way to exactly understand what a gradient does is to visualize it with the 2D scalar field. As I said before, a gradient points in the direction of the steepest ascent. That means if we took any coordinate on this object, we can plug it into a gradient and eventually we'll reach a point called the zero gradient. And a zero gradient can be thought of as the maximum location. There is no direction of greatest increase. Any direction you follow will lead to a decrease in your position. It's like being at the top of a mountain. Any direction you move is downhill. Now let's go back to our original multivariable function. If we recall our gradient form, we can transform this multivariable function into this gradient. Just to keep it simple, we'll convert all these vector values into components. The x component, the y component, and the z component of the multivariable function. And now we can find the partial derivative of each component, which should get you something like this. So after all that hard work partial differentiating, we found out that this multivariable function's gradient is this right here.